So the sprinkler has started and uh, I put a stopper very close to it so so we don't have to wait 30 40 minutes for the sprinkler to shut off by the stopper. So it's getting close to the stopper and it would climb over and then it would stop where that that valve is underneath it and it looks like the tractor is climbing onto the stopper. This looks like it's peaking and then it'll come down and then it would momentarily it would stop so i put this at high speed so that it moves a little faster so it is noticeable otherwise if you put on low speed unless you're really watching it it is not very noticeable so it went down as you saw and then it's just maybe a minute or so it will stop. So it's just a matter of time. Yeah, just wait, it will happen. The valve will pop and we'll stop the water. Okay, it happened. So let's see what happened. So, it barely traveled maybe a foot, foot and a half, but Assuming you had the stopper placed further out, you can see the stopper is right underneath it, that black plastic. So if you, the further you put out, the longer it'll take, and it will water your lawn. Just, just drag your hose, place them wherever you want it, and then the width of the sprinkler uh, reach and you can water it, you can meander it, as however you like. It's quite fun, actually. And it's fun to watch. So here is the hose line. And it will pull the hose line as the tractor pulls away. Thank you for watching. And hopefully this was something new you learned or something that was interesting for you. Thank you.